Listen, if it's one thing that I'm pretty sure we're all aware of is that life is out here moving fast, okay? It's a lot going on. We got society telling us what we should be doing, we should be, all while we're still trying to figure ourselves out. But you know what we can do? We can be mindful of where we are in this present moment and take small steps towards becoming better by the day and towards reaching our God-given purpose. So let's figure it out and work through it together. Welcome to Mindful Moments, y'all, a space where we talk it out, laugh it out, cry it out, hash it out. Listen, just get it, get it all out, okay? This is a safe space for you where we talk about the ups, the downs, even the in-betweens, a place where we go through it so we can grow through it. Tune in every week as we fill our minds with who we're destined to be with positivity, with awareness, and honestly, just with love. So I encourage you, let's be mindful of today in hopes for, yes, a better you, but also in hopes for a better tomorrow. Again, welcome to Mindful Moments. It's a trend currently to be on a healing journey. Stop it. So the thing that was said, <laughs> which made me think of something before, the, the thing that was said was it is a trend to be on a healing journey, which leads me to this thought. We have romanticized a lot of things that are actually hard work. Healing being one of them and mental health being another, but we'll get to that. Healing is hard work. Hard. And the, the best thing that I saw, you, you, <laughs> that, that was really good. But the best, one of the best things that I saw as it related to healing was, and what changed my perception of it, or perspective rather, was that healing is nonlinear. So when, when we're going through hurt or when we're going through pain or just even healing from the things that were self-inflicted, right? It can be easy to think that you can go through this process and be and be done with it by tomorrow, next week, or next year. It just life just doesn't work like that. And healing definitely doesn't. And just personally, one of the biggest things that I've had to learn through healing was grief. And so what do you do now when the process you're going through encompasses another process? Because they say grief got seven steps. So we're going through steps within steps to get to the end of a process. So that tells you in itself, it's not, healing is not a one-stop shop. You've got grief, grieving the old ways you used to move. You've got to be patient. You've got to give yourself grace. And you have to love yourself through it. And not just um, loving yourself through it in the sense of, yes, being aware of how you speak to yourself, but also the realization of I've got to love myself enough to where I'm even willing to go through the hard things and not sugarcoat a hard process to get to where I want to be. So making a trend out of healing, I'll just, I'd rather do the hard work. I'm not about to romanticize my healing. Thank you for tuning in to another segment of Mindful Moments. I want you guys to remember this. Take it one step at a time and know that you're capable and worth it. Be intentional and know that everything you need to accomplish the things you want, it's already inside of you. But look, y'all, the podcast doesn't end here. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at OJADA. That's O three H's underscore J-A-D-A. You can see the visuals from past episodes and segments, and you may even get a little teaser for upcoming episodes. And be sure to follow and like Mindful Moments here on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Catch me here in your ear every Monday for a new episode. And as you go through your day, remember to be mindful of today in hopes for a better tomorrow. I'll see you next week.